Welcome to the second part of the 5,000 subscriber Q&A. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be answering the questions you guys left in the previous video. And I'm honestly really excited for this. Uh, we got so many more questions than I thought we would. Jeez, you guys came through. So, uh, thanks a lot to everyone who did uh, submit a question. That is very appreciated. And, uh, yeah, um, I hope I get to answer your question today. Let's, uh, let's slide on right into this, eh? Bidoof Lover asks, I'm on a hunt for my birth father. Are you him? Look, before I even answer this question, I just want to say I really do hope that the quality of the rest of the questions are up to this standard because, gosh, that would make for a fucking thrilling Q&A video. Uh, but anyways, on to the question. Honestly, there is a reasonably high chance that I would be your birth father. I'm, I'm not gonna rule it out. No, it's definitely a possibility. Pokeballer Luke asks, fuck, kill, marry. And then the options are me, Luke, and Pokeballer Luke. All right, this one's a bit of a tough one, but honestly, I would have to, I'd have to kill Pokeballer Luke. I'd marry Luke, and I'd fuck me. I'd fuck me so hard, man. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering your name here, but Isaac Marnie asks, Are you going to do Let's Plays on Pokemon games? And the short answer to that is yes, to an extent. Because Let's Plays aren't going to be the main focus of my channel, but I will still do them here and there. For example, I have the phase lock of Chittos going right now, and I do plan to livestream Pokemon Sun and Moon when it comes out, so... Let's Plays definitely will be on the channel here and there, but they're not going to be the main thing that I'll be putting on the channel. Like, I think what I'm doing now is pretty perfect, honestly. One, two, three, let's go. Pokemon asks, do you like Mudkips? Love you, by the way. I love you too, fam. But uh, to answer your questions, I fucking despise Mudkip. It's a piece of shit. I'm kidding. I love Mudkip, obviously. Who, who wouldn't love Mudkip? Cyberlord asks, do you like the new Pokemon for Pokemon Sun and Moon? And honestly, I'm really happy with the new Pokemon that have been revealed for Pokemon Sun and Moon so far, because obviously, I don't like all of them. I don't think it's possible to like every single Pokemon that's in a region. If you can say you like every Pokemon in one region, I would be very surprised, but from the ones revealed, I think there are some that I love some that I'm okay with, and then there's some that I don't like as much, but I can't complain that I don't like every Pokemon revealed, so in general, yeah, I'm pretty damn happy with the, uh, with the Pokemon revealed so far. They're pretty good. Feudum asks, is it true your fave number is 69? You bet it is. William, uh, F S R V P asks, What's your favorite genre and or band? At the moment, I love uh, indie rock kind of bands, like Arctic Monkeys is fucking awesome. You guys should listen to them if you haven't. But yeah, right now, that's pretty much what I'm listening to. Just anything like with that kind of style of music. I have like a big playlist with like 60 songs that I just listen to all the time. So yeah. Gilly Jol asks, if you would remove 10 Pokemon, which Pokemon would it be? Well, uh, my answer to this question really depends on what your top 10 favorite Pokemon are, because whatever they are, I want them removed. Nick Weaver asks, what are your five favorite starters? Okay, no particular order. My favorite starters would be Squirtle, Charmander, Piplop, uh, what else we got? What else we got? Froakie, and Chikorita. Yep. Yeah. Definitely my faves, especially Chikorita. I don't understand why it gets so much hate, honestly. I, I love it so much. 100 Station Cash asks, Where did you come up with your username and why Gramble as your profile pic? Honestly, I have absolutely no idea why I chose Play Rough as my channel name. I just liked the Pokemon move and I was like, Hey, you know what? That might make a pretty swell channel name. So I just, I just went with that and... The reason why I have Gramble as my profile pic is because it's my channel mascot. And the reason why it's my channel mascot is because it's my bay. It's my grand bay. That's why. Toby Nick asks, have you ever played Pokemon competitive? 
So, I actually used to play a lot of competitive Pokemon, and particularly throughout last year, I was really big on competitive Pokemon. I actually still have Wi-Fi battles up on my channel now, I believe. They're pretty old, but yeah, I used to play a lot of competitive Pokemon. It is a lot of fun, and I'm probably going to get back into it uh, when Sun and Moon comes out, honestly, because I'd love to use all these new Pokemon that are going to be released. So, yeah, I love competitive Pokemon, although I haven't played it in quite a while. Monica Mina, I don't know if I'm saying Mina or is it Mina, I actually don't know, but Monica asks, what is your favorite bug type to use in competitive? Um, and if you don't do competitive, then what is your favorite bug type? Mine is Mega Beedrill. It's funny because I was actually going to say Mega Beedrill as well. I actually really, really love Mega Beedrill so much. It's so fast and has such high attack, like... I just love it so much. I don't know. I've used it a lot in competitive battling, and it just always seems to do well. So, yeah, definitely by a long shot, Mega Beedrill is my favorite bug type to use competitively. Meteor Gaming asks, would you rather have a level 1 shiny love disc on your team or a level 33 snubble? Honestly, I would prefer to have the snubble because I don't really care for shiny love disc too much, and snubble's my bay, and it's a, it would evolve into Gramble when I leveled it up, so yeah, I'll choose, I'll definitely choose a Snubble, and plus if I really wanted a shiny love disc, I'd so just hack one. Just low-key, I'd, I'd just hack it. I'm a hacker. Yeah, I know. Jade Silvers asks, would you rather be a Pokemon or a Pokemon trainer? Look, I would definitely prefer to be the Pokemon trainer because then you get to stay human, and I love being human because, I don't know, I can, uh, I can play games and shit. I don't think Pokemon... I don't think Pokemon make YouTube videos, so, uh, yeah, I'd be the human. And plus, you can enslave animals and catch them in balls, and who doesn't want to do that, am I right? So, yeah, I'd be the human. Potato the Cat asks, are you Australian or something like that? Firstly, I just want to applaud you for your name. That is awesome. Potato the Cat. Jeez, where did you think of that? Um, I approve of it, though. And, uh, yeah, I am Australian. Apparently, I have a really strong accent, but I don't even, like, I don't even think I do. I don't think my accent's really that bad, but whenever I ask people about it, they're always like, yeah, dude, you sound freaking weird. I'm like, oh, okay. And then I crawl into a hole and cry myself to sleep every night. Peter Hodge asks, what's the first shiny Pokemon you caught? I don't know if this really counts as caught, but the first shiny Pokemon I obtained was a shiny Charmander through Masuda Method. Uh, the first one I caught in the wild was a shiny Mawile. Acclidigalas Asfag asks, How gangster are you from 0 to 10? Look guys, I'm really not trying to brag here, but I'm definitely like above a 2. Out of, I'm above a 2, but maybe 2.5. So we'll round that up to 3. Sonju asks, have you played any of the side games in Pokemon? And if so, what do you think of them? The only side games I've played and actually finished uh, is the Mystery Dungeon games, and I love them so much. I don't know why, I just, I remember as a kid I got so emotional playing them, I, I don't know, it's just something about those games I just love so much. So, uh, yeah, that uh, that's my answer thingy, majig. Uh, Gaming Mark asks, what do you think about Pokemon Sun and Moon's new design of player? You know, I think the designs are fine. Um, honestly, I don't really care about the player design too much. Like, it's just, uh, I've never had a problem with any of the character designs, really, in any of the Pokemon games, like the player choices. So, I think the, I think the character design's fine in Pokemon Sun and Moon. I'm, I'm happy with it. Mega Crasher asks, what will you do when you reach 10k in like a month? You're climbing faster than Ninja Ask on speed. So I could see it happening. Jeez, I don't know about hitting 10k in a month, but I have absolutely no idea what I'll do for 10k. Um, yeah, I, I, I really do not know. Uh, maybe you guys should leave some suggestions in the comment section down below. But I guarantee you that if I do reach 10k, I would do something crazy. Like, I would do something ridiculous. I don't know. We'll see when we get there, I guess. Brandon Coleman asks, Favorite Pokemon besides Gramble? Look, it's, uh, it's definitely got to be Weedle. I'd, I'd put Weedle at number two. Koo Cherry asks, will you remember me when you're famous? Of course I will. How would I ever forget you? Yig Yuki asks, hey, I really like double evolutions, and I know this will be long. XD, 
but please answer. And then there's a bunch of questions, which I'm gonna answer right now. Which evolution? Umbreon. Glade or Gardevoir? Uh, probably Gardevoir. Which Hitmon? What is a Hitmon? Um... Moving on, Slowbro or Slowking? Gotta go Slowbro, because Mega Slowbro. Gosh, I love that thing. Uh, Beautifly or Dustox? Definitely Beautifly. Poliwag or Politoed? Uh, Politoed, I guess? Blossom or Viloplume? I'll choose Viloplume. Huntail or Gorobis? Ooh, I'll choose Gorobis because of its Pokedex entry. If you guys haven't seen Gorobis's Pokedex entry, I suggest you look, you pause this video right now and go take a look at that. Um, but anyways, Glalie or Frostlass? I'll choose Glalie. And Mothim or Wormadon? Probably Mothim. I'll do Mothim. Blocky Steelix asks, what is your favorite Pokemon theory? Look, man, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I think my theory on Kangaskhan being a fraud was pretty freaking amazing. Self-plug, go check out my videos. Um, sub to my YouTube channel. Uh, leave, leave a like. <laughs> Bye. Low, 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 smash asks, how did you come up with your name? Do you play rough in bad? I think that means bed. Do you play rough in bed? And look, the answer to me coming up with my name is I have no idea. I just did. And do I play rough in bed? Who doesn't play rough in bed? Actually, I changed, I changed my answer. The reason I call myself play rough is because I want to inspire people around the world to play rough in bed like I do. Gosh, that was a good answer. Smexy asks, what was your first Pokemon team? And what else do you play other than Pokemon? Honestly, I cannot remember what was on my first Pokemon team other than a Pidgeot and a Blastoise. Other than that, I just cannot remember. And other games I play, I play a lot of... I've been playing a lot of Overwatch recently. That game is hella fun. If you're not playing that, you definitely should. Um, I play a lot of the generic stuff like COD, GTA... All that kind of stuff. I have an Xbox, so, you know, I just play those kind of games. 123 Pugs asks, can you sub to me? Guess what, man? It's your lucky day. I just subbed to you. You're welcome. Melissa Hernandez asks, hey, Ruff, when did you start to do Pokemon stuff? That rhyme is sick, by the way. And I've been doing Pokemon on YouTube since March 2014. Volts Fisho asks, do you think you are funny? No, I do not think I'm funny. I know I'm funny. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm just hilarious. Like, I'm sure you guys are laughing right now. Are you guys, are you guys laughing? Yeah, you, you bet you are. I know you guys too well. You keep laughing. You laugh with me. There we go. Jarrell M asks, are you happy you found the save button? This is a bit of an inside joke to everyone who's watched the dumb things I did in a Pokemon video. But as I said in that video, man, that was a blissful day. I've just, it changed me. I've just, I've been a man ever since I found that save button. So yes, I was, I'm very happy. Very happy indeed. Rage Games asks, who was your inspiration for making Pokemon videos? So there were two main YouTubers who really made me want to start doing Pokemon on YouTube. And they were x Razovation. I'm not sure if you guys would have heard of him. He's a bit of a smaller YouTuber, but... I used to watch him religiously, I just loved his content so much. Unfortunately, I don't watch him as much now, but he was definitely a major, major part of me starting YouTube. And as well as that, Hulam Scrafty, a lot of you guys may be familiar with him. Uh, he was pretty much the first PokeTuber I found, actually. And uh, he was another one who really got me into doing Pokemon videos. Ultra Wario Man asks, How rough do you play? Well, uh, since I rate myself a 3 out of 10 gangster, you gotta assume I play pretty rough, right? Max Herrera asks, Can I be in the video? There you go, you're in the video. I hope you're happy, man. Mr. Beast just deleted your Minecraft account, asks, Can you count to 100 right now? Dude, why'd you delete my Minecraft account, bro? I was like level 100 warlock. That's so mean. But anyways, back onto the question, I guess we should probably show this hater what I can really do. So, uh, let's count to 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, ha <laughs> ha, you get it, 69, ha, <laughs> gosh that was funny, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Wait, what's after 99? Jenna Merashoff asks, How do you think you'll be on YouTube in a year? Will you have more subs? Will you still be on YouTube? How will you have changed in one year? That is actually a really good question. Um, well, the first one is, How do you think you'll be on YouTube in a year? I think I'll be... Better than I am right now, I guess. The quality of my videos would probably be better with more experience. Um, I probably would have been able to upgrade to have better equipment. So the overall quality of my videos would probably be better. Um, will you have more subs? Uh, I would hope so. Uh, it'd be kind of depressing if I didn't after a whole year. Uh, will you still be on YouTube? I really doubt I wouldn't still be on YouTube. If I'm not still on YouTube in a year, I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. But, uh, how would you have changed in one year? That I honestly have no idea. A lot can happen in one year. Who knows? I might not even be doing Pokemon in a year. Or I might still be doing Pokemon. Like, jeez, I, I don't know. I, I'm just gonna... I'll be a prostitute. That's, I'll be a prostitute in a year. That's at least one thing I can guarantee. So that's going to wrap up the Q&A video. Uh, thanks again to everyone for helping me hit 5,000 subs. It is definitely a group effort. Um, you guys come through all the time, obviously, with um, showing support on the videos. That definitely means a lot. It's kind of crazy that I'm still in the 5K special and we're already at over 6,000 subscribers. It's a little bit ridiculous, but uh, thanks again. And uh, if your question wasn't answered, I may have missed it or... Um, or else, yeah, I, I think it's either I missed it uh, because the video was starting to get a bit long or else it was a repeat of another question that I already answered. So if your question wasn't answered, I do apologize. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later with another video.